Today, I'm challenging four Balloons TD6 modders to create the coolest, most epic towers that they can come up with, and then they're gonna battle for our amusement. <laughs> so the rules of the competition was simple. I just told them to make a super powerful, awesome tower, and they have all the creative freedom. And of course, I'd love for you guys to vote down below which ones are your favorite. Keep in mind, these modders worked really hard on making them, and they're all really awesome. So make sure to show all of them some love. And if you want to see more modder battles where we get modders to create mods to go head to head, make sure to hit that like button, guys, so we know you want to see more of this awesome content. The first modder on the list is Cosmic with the Samus Tower. Here it is in the primary category. So Samus, whoa, it is a full 3D model tower. That looks so cool. That's sweet. So it has a pretty expensive base price of $1,400. All right, so let's see how it does against rainbow balloons. So right off the bat, it's pretty strong. It does a little bit of damage, but it's kind of just like your normal dart monkey with a little, what's that, a little green fart, little So we have the power beam. Power beam, more power, more beam, uh, I think. All right, let's grab this upgrade. So it just makes it a little bit stronger. I think we get a little bit more range with it. Still nothing crazy though. Now we have the wide beam, wider beams. Oh, also faster firing. So, whoa, what is that? That's actually so cool. So I love that pixel graphic, kind of uh, reminiscent of the old Metroid Prime games. Uh, so far, it's kind of weak. I don't know if we're going to be able to go up against like 900 though, right? Super missiles, super missiles for super explosions. Oh, look, there's the little missiles. Oh, and they have homing. Look at that. All right, this tower's already... Wait, what if we start going up against, like, Moabs now? Will this be able to... Holy cow, what the... What is even happening? The next upgrade, $14,000. These have all been really inexpensive upgrades, which is nice. Missiles freeze balloons on contact. Very cool. Oh, yeah, so now they have, like, cool ice effects on them. I love the old, like, retro graphics for it. Whoa! It's like an animated upgrade path. Wave beam, purple beam, courtesy of the BOX robot. $44,000, that's kind of expensive, but I think we'll manage. So let's see what it's got. Let's go up against some rounds, right? So round 100, let's see what it's got. Oh, that was it, round 100 was destroyed. Right, thanks, that was, uh, wow, all right, this tower's not bad. Let's put down our Time Master monkey, and let's go up against round 500. Let's see what he's got. Ooh, little laggy, but it destroys round 500. It's already at 300, 400 million pops. <laughs> Let's go. This tower is insane. I'm loving this one. I love this, this like graphics for this. How it's, it's like purple pixel, but it's also kind of fluid at the same time. You see how it like flows? That might be one of the reasons why it's a little bit laggy and one billion pops to not too shabby epic ultimate test of round 999 let's see if this tower will be able to deal with it let's go oh we it's oh i don't know i don't know if it's gonna be able to deal with all up to 999 so far it seems to be lagging a little bit 1.4 million pops not bad but it's having a lot of trouble with these fortified BADs, and there are a lot of them. As you can see, the DDTs are frozen. It is not able to beat round 999, but it's still an amazing tower. Aesthetically, it looks so cool. The custom 3D model, mwah, love the upgrades. I think my favorite part about the Samus Tower is just how cool and aesthetic it is. I think all of the upgrades and things kind of work together really well, very seamlessly. Huge thumbs up from me. Next up on the modding list is that Jane Doe with the mod DJ Ascended. Let's see exactly what they got. So we got Dat Jane Doe's Ascended. All right, let's see. Dat Jane Doe. Ooh. All right, so it's, it's wait a minute. $64,000 starting price? The base tower is $64,000. Wait, why is it $64,000? Was it, why is it? All right, let's round one. Let's go up. All right, let's do like a, oh, ah, okay. This is why it's $64,000 for the base price this is okay that makes sense all right that's gonna be this tower is gonna I, I i feel it in my bones this tower is gonna be absurd let's just send zoomgs 
so the first upgrade is Cripple Moab. Cripple Moabs are immobilized for longer and take extra damage from all other attacks. So another $64,000 upgrade, not bad. Super Mines, wait, Super Mines? Creates gigantic exploding spike mines that can wipe out almost anything. So wait, is it, why is there, what happens now? Oh wait, literally you can, look at, there's the spike mines. Where are they? They're like flying all around. <laughs> there they are. They're all, they're all around me. The critical cutter. $200,000, what? Inflicts critical hits that remove 10% of the target balloon's health. Whoa, that's actually really strong. Okay, so the critical cutter, and now we're just still just destroying it, okay. And then the next one is Azili's level 20, interpreted in a totally balanced way. <laughs> Greatly increased Moab damage and applies level 20 Azili's Moab hex to everything on hit. Also adds the ability for good measure. 100,000. And the next upgrade is literally a paragon. Ascended Shadow. The complete assassin package for dealing with any balloon threat. Critical cuts assassinate balloons instantly. May spaz out from sheer power. Now that's what I like to hear. Sheer power. Okay, let's get the Ascended Shadow upgrade. Oh my good. Oh, and it follows the mouse around too. Oh my gosh, I see what it means by spazzing out. I look at this, it just follows my mouse around here. It's already got a million pops. Okay, let's uh, let's put it to the test then, shall we? Round 500. I think that's a good baseline. Let's see what is. Ah, ah. Okay, it's. I don't. I literally don't even see any balloons. Also, why? They're literally. I like how the paragons, the ninja paragons, are like. The ninja paragons just flying around. Okay, round 500. Let's try round 999. He's got what it takes. All right, uh, round 999, easy. This guy's not, he's not worried about it. Round 2000, he's dealing with round 2000 like it's nothing. What? How many pops does he have? He's got 10 million pops. What? Wait, no, that's 10 billion. He has 10 billion pops. Fine, fine, fine. You want to play? You want to play games? Go, let's go up against round 5,000. He's just still, he's still just dealing with it. Round 5,000 on balloons, and it's just, oh, you know, just a casual 60 billion pops, nothing too crazy or anything like that. You think you're so tough? Bet you can't deal with round 10,000. It can deal with round 10,000. It's at 400 billion pops. You're kidding me. Round 100,000. There we go. Okay, now we're having some problems. Now things are starting to come out on the screen. Oh, you know, it's just round 10,000. Nothing too crazy. Oh my gosh, is this a billion? Wait, is this a trillion pops? That's one trillion pops. What? It's at round 100,000. Round 1 million. I lost. Okay. All right. You lose at round a million. All right. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. It can't beat round a million. Super cool. Love the textures. Love the ideas behind it. I think my favorite part about this tower is the the how it all kind of works together and takes it from the vanilla game and incorporates it to make some really crazy overpowered stuff. I liked it a lot. Thumbs up for me. Let's move on to the next one. Next on our modern list is Commander Cat with Luigi. Yeah. I they wanted to make Luigi. I was like, all right, that sounds great. So we uh, we have Luigi now. That's it, everybody. They they made Luigi. So let's see, let's see what we got. Let's do, so it's not bad. The base tower itself costs $700, which is a huge upgrade from the $64,000, but it's not that crazy powerful. Flame Blast for $400. Fireballs now light balloons upon, so it does more damage, right? Oh, wait, it literally one-shots rainbow balloons, too. Look at that, so it's just one-shotting things now. And it has leftover power. Whoa, it literally... Okay, that's way stronger. Next is lighter fireballs. Lighter fireballs allow much faster firing. So let's jump up to the Moabs now, and let's see how he deals against the Moab as a level two. Oh, wow, this guy's really good. He's really, really good. That's super cheap. The next is Super Thump. Luigi gains a ground pound attack. 
Oh, that's super cool. So we just like, hi -ya! and just like, now we have shock waves. Luigi's ground pound, now shock waves knocking back balloons for $7,000. All right, nice. And then, is that $9 million? <laughs> that's $9 million for Super Luigi. Super, Super Luigi. That's, that's the upgrade. Super Luigi. Luigi has grown to an unstoppable power. His fireballs could do thousands of damage per tick, and his stomps now permanent, permanently stuns balloons. Permanently? So far, we've spent seven thousand dollars, or around like eight, nine thousand dollars, on getting this upgrade, and now we just upgrade to Super Luigi. Uh, ah, ah. Okay, that went from zero to hundred really fast. That one, that one, I wonder if the modder the mod making it was like, yeah, you know, nice little upgrade. And they get to the end and they go, oh wait, this needs to be like really powerful. Uh, yeah, Super Luigi, let's go. And they just add it. I love it. Also, I think it's really cool that they pick this upgrade. It looks like mushrooms that are there, right? It looks, instead of balloons melting, it literally looks like, like spotted mushrooms, which works for Luigi. Uh, let's try some balloons here. Round 500, can Luigi beat? Round 500, let's see. The answer is yes. The answer is quite easily. He absolutely annihilates these guys. Round 999, let's see what he's got. Round 900 and, oh man. Woo. Yep, he's definitely, definitely slowing down, but still holds the power for round 999. So he's still doing very well for himself. So let's try, let's let's bump it up. I don't think he can do 2,000, but we'll try around 1,500. Uh-oh, there we go, okay. Round 1,500, we'll also make sure he's targeting strong. We are losing lives though. One of his main problems, it appears, is that his projectiles are so slow, and they're not, they don't seem that slow, but they're slow enough that when you're on these, these types of rounds, you start just kind of like leaking lives. I love the concept of bringing in Luigi. I love how the modders are bringing in kind of like their favorite game characters so far. I love it. I love the Super Luigi upgrade. Like, I love how they're all kind of like, oh yeah, you know, Flame Blast, Lighter Fireballs, you know, blah, blah, blah. Super Luigi, 9 million Luigi's like, let's go! And just full sends it. <laughs> Luigi is here, BTD6. I think this tower is hysterical. Thumbs up for me, guys. And now it's time to move on to our last modder. And last, but certainly not least, everybody in the modding lineup, is Baydock with his GSU tower. GSU stands for Global Strike Unit, and it's a, uh, it's just a little Joy-Con. <laughs> so it, I like it. Holy cow! Why is this a million dollars? Does the tower by itself do anything? That's that's the first question. Does it? Is it able to destroy the balloons? Let's see. So far, it is. Oh my gosh! Okay, so it, it is basically, it's already its own, like, mortar tower that just annihilates the balloons. So, yeah. Wait, what about, like, BFBs? Holy cow, it's already annihilating BFBs. Not bad. The first upgrade is Ultimate Sentries. Add super powerful lightning sentries that buff each other. Nice. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So, and they're all in radius of each other. Oh, wait, how many do, what, how many get put down? All right, looks like they put down four at a time, basically, and then they all kind of buff each other. Very nice. And then the next upgrade is the ultimate tech crystals. Add super powerful tech crystals that float around that shoot powerfully destructive lasers. Whoa! Holy cow! That's so cool, actually. And then the last one is the ultimate link. Even more sentries and tech crystals. What the? What am I looking at? It's so mesmerizing. Da 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 da. There's so many of them. All right, all right, all right, all right. Enough, enough lollygagging around, everybody. Let's put it to the rest. Round 500. Whoa! It's literally just like rays of doom. That's amazing. What I love about this tower is that it is completely unique and it, there was no there was no like inspiration kind of taken from things right they kind of looks like they made their own textures for everything looks like it was built from the ground up they had an idea and they implemented it round 500 was an absolute breeze let's try round 999 absolutely crazy that it's annihilating oh balloons are kind of starting to get through now so it does have only three upgrades but it really only needs three 
right? I love how it works. I love the concept behind it, where it kind of is this, you know, this item from the military that you're able to put down that summons these sentries and they buff each other and they have all these cool properties. And I love the floating things around here. Definitely a very unique tower. I like it a lot and it is insanely powerful. Very expensive, but very worth it. I mean, round 999, it's cleaning up house. 15 million pops, everybody. Whoa, and it dealt with it. So it's got some crazy power to it, quite the kick. Not the strongest out of all of them, but it's got a lot of really cool features. I love the way these kind of like work and move around. I think this is an amazing tower. Thumbs up from me, but it's not up to me, guys. It's up to you, the viewers, to decide which tower was your favorite. Comment down below. Please keep in mind, these modders all work really hard, and these are all really, really cool mods. So make sure to show some love for all of them. Should we do another challenge? I know there's a lot of other modders that would be interested in these types of things. Should we bring this back? Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day, my friend, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.